Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna be talking about this really awesome Ozark Trail backpack tackle box that I purchased from Walmart, believe it or not. I've been doing some research on purchasing a new backpack tackle box. I do a lot of walking, a lot of shore fishing, so it's really nice to have something that you could throw on your back opposed to, you know, holding, like, oh, throwing over, throwing over your shoulders. Although those are good sometimes uh, when you need some small uh, tackle with you, you know, you don't want to carry a whole lot. Long story short, I wanted something that kind of made more sense than this right here. This is basically just a backpack with everything thrown in it. It has a lot of nice pockets. Uh, it has some good straps. It has all this nice little clamps and whatnot. But the problem with that is it's just all thrown in there. There's not any real organization. What I do like about this, there's a lot of cool features and the feature on the top of this backpack tackle box is something that I really, really do love. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around and I'm gonna show you a lot of the features that you can get from this when you go to Walmart and purchase this Ozark Trails. Again, it costs like 44 bucks. I think it went, on, it went up in price like $10 over the last few months. Uh, it comes with multiple containers that you can use. It actually comes with three trays and, and again, padded back. But we're gonna go over the features. I'll go over it and tell you why I really like this one opposed to this just a standard backpack. So let's go get into it and uh, let's turn the camera around and I'm gonna show you this awesome backpack. Here we go. All right guys, so let's just get right into it and let's talk about this backpack right here. This is my old backpack, so we're just gonna kick this off to the side. It's basically just a simple backpack that you can purchase almost anywhere. It's more of like an outdoorsman slash, um, you know, rucksack type backpack. Tons of space, tons of storage, but just all disorganized and things all over the place. And I want to kind of minimalize this and simplize my fishing experience with my tackle. So that's why I actually purchased this right here, which I'm super excited. So let's just get right into it. And I haven't even done anything. And you can see right here, the fishing backpack. Uh, let's see, it has, it includes two trays, and one tray, I guess a 3600 and a 3500 tray. Uh, let's say it has a bait cooler compartment, which I'm gonna show you and I absolutely love that. It's water resistant map, phone pocket, front zipper pocket with mesh pocket, two dip front pockets for tools, secure plier holder, which is off on the side, main compartment with tray dividers, adjustable padded straps, and D-ring for clip-on accessories, which is up at the front. This compartment right here is pretty cool. I think this is the map compartment. Something along the lines of this right here. There's this really deep, it goes all the way up the side. It's just this really cool compartment there. So I might actually use that for like my fillet knife and just kind of put that in up in the top there. Then coming up into the front, it has this nice drop pocket for some small tools, probably clippers or just other small stuff. That's the D-ring that they were talking about. Comes with in this front compartment. So it did come with this tray right here. This is the small, I believe 3,500 tray. I don't know the difference really of tray sizes. So it came with that, but I'm actually gonna not use that tray. And then up at the front, this drop down compartment for a ton of storage for stuff. It's clear, I believe maybe waterproof. So probably can put my phone in here or something or any GoPro accessories. These two little mesh uh, compartments up here, something like I said, maybe just tools or extra uh, fishing line or something like that. This is the main compartment. And this is what I really liked about this. So when you open this up and this drops down, all of the trays are right at your ease of handling right here in front. And you could fit four trays in here, which is kind of cool. So right now I actually, in this, I have three trays. So I can actually, believe it or not, get more with my space than this one right here. So we'll go ahead and add those in in a minute. So let's go ahead and zip this up. And then on the side, it has a contain, you know, a little holder right here. Not quite sure. I think these are the plier holders but probably won't use that too much, but maybe like a bottle of water or something like that. And then of course the padded back, which is really nice. It's actually super padded. Grip handles for carrying. So if you're just, if you have it set down, you can just grab it and go. The cool thing is this right here. Check this out. When you open this up, 
like that. It has a cooler on the inside of this backpack. Look at that. It actually has a cooler inside the backpack. So this whole part up is a cooler. So if, if you wanted to put ice in here and have some drinks or carry, you know, containers of worms or even use it if you're planning on going, let's say I'm going crappie fishing or something along that lines and I want to catch maybe, you know, three or four keepers, I can put them in here with some ice and have them ready, you know, just have them on ice. Probably wouldn't do that, but, um, you know, keep other stuff ready to go in here. But I thought that was super, super cool. This seems to be the best, one of the best features. Some people, if you wanted to just dump other stuff in here too, you can do that. So I'm not quite sure. I might, if I have some extras, I might just use it also for just storage, additional dump storage, like easy access. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take everything out of this backpack and let's put it into this backpack. First and foremost, let's take out all of my compartments that I have in here right now, which I only have three, you can see. I basically have three compartments. I don't carry around a whole ton of stuff. Usually have a thing of bug spray. Got some plier tools. Got my scale. Let's see what else I got in here. I don't even know what I have in this thing. This thing is so packed tight with stuff. I mean, it's nice to have all this when you need it, but this is stuff that I was using for catfish fishing. But uh, here's that. Okay, some weights. You carry a razor blade. Ah, there's the old trusty toenail clippers. Oh, got a side pocket here. Carry some rubber gloves with me. And a couple knives, another pair of toenail clippers. I think these are my good ones right here. And these have an actual, yeah, you could see right on that side. I think I tried to clip something wire and it actually got uh, messed up. So but that's all right. There's my fillet knife. There's those. I hope I got everything. It's just so all over the place, it drives me nuts. So let's go ahead and get rid of this. What I wanna do is first and foremost, let's kind of move some stuff around. We got some yum grubs. We got some culprit reds, knife. Um, what is this? Stealth braid, 30 pound. I just bought some and I didn't even know I had that. Don't tell my wife. Got some 14 pound mono. See, I didn't. I just relined up my uh, my other fishing, my new rod and reel that I did a video on just recently, and I didn't even know that I had this. So there's that. Again, I've got my tackles, which I'm actually gonna just keep these in here and take these out. So pretty simple, nothing crazy. I'm gonna take these two out of the middle, and we're gonna put these two in. One, two, and this one's a little bit smaller. So this one, but the problem is it has this thing that sticks out right here. So let's go ahead and cut it off. There it is. So now we just have this and I'll put that at the top side. The cool thing is actually I'll put it at the bottom to kind of support. We'll put it at the bottom. And again, the cool thing is I can get another insert right here. I might get a little bit smaller one. Um, I don't know, maybe we'll use this one. We'll cut this off. I don't like those hanging off. Put that in there. And now I have some room to grow and grab some more lures and we can be done with that. So, and that closes nice. How awesome is that? Perfect. Let's go in here and this one right here I don't need this one either because I already have everything that I need right here for my small. And that actually saves me a little bit of space. So I was kind of concerned about a couple things where I'm going to put it. But in all honesty, um, I don't know. Like some, I probably want to take these along with me. So I'll throw those in there. I think what I'll do is down in this compartment here, I'll put clippers, actual knife. Maybe more clippers here. Oh, I forgot, there's this compartment up here. So what I can do is I can take like some extra weights that I have. We could throw these weights up in here like that. Maybe this knife. And I was gonna take this with me and I wanna take these with me. So um, I don't know how this goes. 
what I want to do is we're not going to take, I don't need to take braided. I do need to take some leader line with me. So we'll throw that in the top. I definitely don't need bobbers right now. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Uh, I'm just going to get. All right. So I'm not quite sure what else I have here. I got basically just a bunch of, of these clamps, but I do have one more container. I, I, I ended up taking out the stealth braid. I don't need any extra. I'll keep this at the house as I need it. It's something that it's kind of, you know, taking up space. So let's go ahead and close this up and we're going to close up the cooler part. What we can do is scale, weight scale. Again, this is just a cheap Ozark trail scale. Don't really need it too often, but we'll go ahead and just kind of hook that here. I think that'd be kind of cool. We got this front pouch. Forgot about this. So much space left. So probably can throw fillet knife. We can throw bobbers in there. You know what? We might take gloves just in case it gets all super nasty. I do like that just in case. We'll throw those in here. I think I'm just going to bring these. Okay. These I'm not going to bring and these I'm not going to keep with me anymore. Don't need that. Not going to take that unless I absolutely need to. Maybe, you know, on the side, I don't know. Probably going to keep that out. But uh, I think what I'm going to do is bring these with me. These are the Rapala pliers. Uh, these are really good. They have crimping tools. They have a good little, so I don't know if you could see it, but the tip of this actually overhangs this and that's good for hooks and stuff. So we're gonna bring those with me. I'm not gonna bring those other ones. We'll put those in here as well. And basically that is it. I definitely am happy with this new setup. The cool thing, and again, like I said, if you open this part up, the main, it's pretty easy accessible right here for definitely what I wanna get. And I have more room than I even did in the other bag for what's more for what's important. And that's basically more lures. Yeah, I think that's gonna be pretty awesome. Let's close this up. Boom, done deal. All right, guys, that is it. That is the video. That is the Ozark Trails outdoor equipment backpack setup. I'm super happy with it. I can't wait to use it. I'm actually going out tomorrow to do a little bit of exploring and fishing in an area somewhere in Wendell, North Carolina. I'm kind of excited. It's a little bit cold out. It's still going to be around the 50s. I'm not too sure what I'm going to go for. I think either some smaller brim fish, maybe some bass, something along that lines. Nothing crazy. It's all inland fishing, but I'm definitely set up for success with my backpack. I'm definitely set up for success with my new rod and reel that I did a video the other day. So hopefully you like this video. Hopefully it helps you out, make a decision if you were interested or looking at this backpack, but I definitely like it. I think it's definitely a win. They really did good with the design, with the top, with the cooler integrated into the actual backpack tackle box part. And I can, and I can expand. I mean, there's a lot a, a lot of room that I can use for. And again, I left out some of the unnecessary stuff that I had in the other backpack, so it actually was just weighing me down. Can't wait to use it. So if you like this video, definitely give this video a like and a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, brand new channel for me. If you want, you can check out my other channel, Kalen's Life much more subscribers over there. This is something new for me, just doing straight fishing on this channel, which I'm really gonna dedicate a lot of time to. So if you like that, subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, until the next time, just get out there and do some fishing and uh, keep it real. All right, thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Bye.